Good morning. Today's the day in my life. It's Wednesday. It is currently 6.07 a.m. Here's Zoe to say, get me breakfast. Hey Zo, good morning. She wants breakfast. Let's go. You ready for breakfast? Let's go. months later. Hey gang, I completely dropped off that last vlog. Things have happened. That Wednesday that I recorded that day in the life, I started talking to somebody. You all know that I teach a lot and talk a lot about manifestation, law of attraction, all of that good stuff, right? I loved the idea of just being single, hanging out with Zoe, living my life. And somebody suggested to me, write a list of everything that you've ever wanted in a person and make it ridiculously specific, even if that means unrealistic. So I did, and it was very unrealistic and very specific, and I read it and I thought, oh my gosh, there's surely nobody that's gonna fit that bill to that extent, right? So I put it in a drawer and I carried on with my life. Facebook dating popped up as a notification. It was like, why don't you try Facebook dating? And I thought, why not? Then I started talking to somebody who had one mutual friend with me, who was his brother, who I hugely respected, worked with for a very long time, many years ago. We start talking and we go out for a date. And he says to me, you know, I wrote a list and it's everything that I've wanted in somebody. Maybe it's unrealistic, but that's what I wanted. And I said, well, I have also written a list. So we compared lists. They are virtually identical. It's crazy. It's as if we wrote each other's. So it turned into a whirlwind romance when you know you know situation. And I never used to really believe in that, but I know. And he says, well, I booked a trip to Mexico. <laughs> Would you like to come to Mexico with me? Yes, obviously my biggest dream was to manifest a life where I could work and teach and travel from anywhere in the world, all over the world. So I am now in Mexico with him. It's incredible. I just never picked the camera back up after that happened. And then I realized that was Wednesday that I started speaking with him. So right now it is May 20th. We started dating May 1st. It's only been 20 days, but check this out. I'll give you a tour of this room. Kitchen. We both work remotely. So this was our little office area setup. Console table, this is the view out of our room. It is incredible. This is the living room. That's where I'm working today. <laughs> this is the outfit of the day. Throw on a little thing, but got a new bikini. It's awesome. It's from Bikini Village. This is our room. Don't mind the stuff. We trained together, so my gym clothes are still there. There were cushions on the bed, but I removed them and put them outside on our lawn chairs. This is, it's very lived in right now, so don't mind. There's nowhere to hang anything in here. Like, the t <laughs> nowhere to hang your towels. This is our shower area. My side. Vanity, hello. Darren's side. Our robes, that's our closet. And then in there is just the... Uh, commode area so anyway this is what's up this is what's going on with my life i'm currently writing a workshop on manifestation if you want to see more about that there is a video on my channel it's not too long ago that i made that i can't remember quite what it's called something about how i manifest anything i want in life so check out that video but yeah 
here we are and I thought I'd just give you that little update on my life so I hope everyone's doing awesome I hope you're all doing well I'm sure I'll see you soon life is exciting it can surprise you don't ever think that life is going to always be the way it is in the day that you're in I talk a lot about inspired action several months later What's up, gang? I know to you it's been 0 0.2 of a second. To me, it's been several months. This past year has brought incredible amounts of changes. You last saw me when I was in Mexico with somebody that I had just met at the beginning of that month. You already heard the story, but what you don't know is during that time in Mexico, before we even came home, we decided that we were going to move in together. So we were in Mexico in the middle of May and we decided to move in together July 1st. So July 1st, we moved in together. It's been heaven on earth ever since. We've done some traveling. We've gone to Nashville. We've gone to old Quebec. We'll be spending February in Florida together, but it's just been absolutely amazing. I can't possibly imagine a better partner for me. I can't possibly imagine a better relationship. It's just incredible. So here's a little update slash house tour. I actually go live on TikTok quite a lot now. Here's my TikTok. It's Kick It With Kelly. You can go ahead and follow me there if you like. If you sign up for updates, you will get updates, but I go live there a lot and I was asking my followers there would they want a continuation of that YouTube video that started the day that I met him carried on in Mexico and here we are should I continue it do a little house tour show you what's up update you and then carry on consistently from there or should I just restart in this new life and every single person unanimous decision said give an update, give a house tour. Here we are. We live in Ontario. It's yucky in Ontario in the winter, so that's why we're not here for February, but let's do a house tour. So I hope all of you are well. Please leave a comment. Let me know that you're well. Let me know what's up, what's new with you. Hopefully your life has been less crazy than mine, but I wouldn't change anything for the world. We're gonna start at the front door here. Let's go through this home. View from the front door to the left. It's obviously Christmas time. We've got the dining area, the kitchen, the living room. To the right, that's the garage. Downstairs bathroom. And in here is the Zen room. I meditate in here every morning in between 2 and 4 a.m. There's Zoe. This is a meditation mat that I picked up on Amazon. This is, I believe, the extra large version. Highly recommend this. Just a pretty carpet under it. But I like to use this. I lay out some blankets and pillows. It's an awesome, awesome pad. It's 100% natural materials. So you stay grounded. But yeah, so some of this is from the yoga studio I had in BC a long time ago. A lot of it has been added since. But yeah, this is the Zen room. These are all of the books that have to do with spirituality and whatnot. If you're going to meditate, I highly recommend having a meditation space, a designated space in your home where you meditate. Because honestly, it's much better for your brain that way. It's a lot easier to meditate that way based on neurology, how your brain actually works. Anywho, dining room. That air fryer is amazing. It's very high tech, but it's amazing. I recommend. Living room down here's the basement and Zoe's eating area. We got a gym set up, obviously. You don't really need a gym set up. If you want a video on what to have in a home gym, let me know. You don't need a lot, but there are certain things that I do recommend that would be good for you to have. Moving on. There are twinkle lights all behind the curtain. This is just a place to hang out, play video games. Any kind of DVDs <laughs> are played down here. We have some Xbox, Wii, Nintendo 64. That's got all the controllers. Zoe the gym area we've got a bike treadmill is coming vinyls there's no better way to listen to music in my opinion the rower swiss ball trx bands these guys are amazing i really highly recommend these they're affordable easy to use got a tv if we want to do workouts from youtube or even watch tv while we work out this is a yoga swing also highly recommend that we've got heavy balls some straps some sliders yoga blocks that's a barbell cushion all kinds of different bands adjustable dumbbells handy some plates 
little bench. That's a sign from the yoga studio in BC. And over here, I can't show you this junk on the side because it's all Christmas stuff. Bubba, let's go. Carrying on. <laughs> She follows me everywhere. Moving in to the living room area. I talked about this couch on a previous live. Got an interesting history. Kitchen, basic. There's the water filter system. Everybody asked me about it. Santevia, S-A-N-T-E-V-I-A. -E Countertop water filtration system. There is a video on my YouTube channel about the healthiest water in the world. So go ahead and watch that video. It explains all about water. This is the tree. Every single ornament, almost every single ornament, there are some fillers, are from places I have traveled in the world. I'm big on traveling. Shall we go upstairs? So future for the YouTube channel, still health wellness related, but we're gonna expand into a lot of way more interesting topics, a lot to do with the brain, neuroscience. Currently Joe Dispenza is my favorite mentor and I'm learning from him. So I went to his advanced week long retreat in Niagara Falls, New York in this past September, 2022. I just went to Nashville for the advanced follow-up retreat this past October. And boy, have I learned a lot, tried a lot. I've got a lot to teach you about. So, bedroom. That's Zoe's area. She loves tissue paper. Ta-da! It's just like cribs, but that's the bedroom. This is my little room. I do a lot of work in here. I get ready. I go live every time I get ready. If you're not following me on TikTok, you should. Those are entertaining lives. Um, that's my work desk. This is the laundry area. But there's where all the rest of my clothes are stored. Zoe's cologne there. The rest of the house. At the end is his office. That is the guest washroom. It's got another shower. Over there is the guest bedroom. Uneventful, just a guest room. So that's the house. This is where I live currently. Again, lots of traveling coming up. I really want to get back onto vlogging. I've had so many people on the lives on TikTok comment on that and just ask, why have I not been vlogging? When will I vlog again? I've got so many new recipes, pieces of info, workouts, all kinds of things that everyone keeps telling me they want to see. So I want to actually finish this video <laughs> here and then start to put out more current content. So if you have any ideas of anything you want to know about, learn about, anything you want to see, let me know. I'll be doing some Q&A videos as well, so just write in the comments. You can send me an email to kelly at kickitwithkelly.com. I can't wait to be more regular on here. I miss YouTube. It's my favorite hobby above and beyond connecting with everyone, which I also love to do. But creating the videos is, is a huge hobby of mine, so I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be finally settled. Very happy to be happy. Not that I wasn't, but there's a certain level of happiness you reach when you really find your person. I can't wait to share more of that with you. So stay tuned. All kinds of fun info that is very hard to find elsewhere. Stuff that most people have no idea about. So if you liked this video at all, please give it a thumbs up. Please, please subscribe because that's really where the support does come from for creators on YouTube. If you want notifications of when a video is out, please hit that little bell down there and you'll be sent a notification each time I upload. Onwards and upwards, always have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun really making your life what you want it to be. I can't wait to catch up with you all again very soon. Bye guys.